I'm seeing more and more people updating to Android 12 these days or flat out buying a new smartphone with the latest version of Android already installed. So I wanted to take some time and teach some things to those who are not familiar with this new version of Android. Managing which applications and games have access to your location data is an important task for many people these days. Granted, some people simply do not care and will give location access to every app that requests it. But if you're the type who wants to monitor which apps and games have access to your important location data, then this video will walk you through how it's all set up on Android 12 smartphones and tablets. So we start here by opening up the settings application and then scrolling down a little bit from the top until you see the location section. Once we go into here, right off the bat, we're shown which apps have recently accessed my location. Now this can be a bit tricky if you aren't reading the whole screen. So just be aware that on Android 12, you're likely going to need to go a step further from here by tapping on the app location permissions option. If you want to see every regular application and game that has access to your data, since we're only showing the recent access right here. So here we have all of the applications that have access or that can access my location data. And if we want, we can go through each of these applications in the list and deny access to our location data. Now, if we don't want to flat out deny location access, we can choose the ask every time option. If we want the app to prompt us each time it wants access to our location data. Or we can simply block access right here by selecting the don't allow option and then confirming that right there. You can see that application has moved down to the not allowed section. So this list is going to be updated in real time. Now a brand new feature in Android 12 is the ability to give an application access to your precise location or just your approximate location. Now this is useful because some applications need to actually access your exact location. Map navigation apps are a good example of this. However, then there are other apps that only really need to know about where you're located, not the exact location. So if we want an application to know exactly where we are, then we can make sure this precise location toggle is enabled. If we want to, we can disable this for this app. And when we do that, we're not disabling location access, we're just disabling the precise location. So now when the barometer application asks for my location, since this toggle is set to off, it will send that app my approximate location. So they don't need to, since they don't need to know exactly where I am. Now a fair bit of warning about this precise location toggle. Since this feature is new to Android 12, any application that is not built for Android 12 has the capability of crashing if it is not prepared to work with an approximate location. Now this isn't going to happen to all apps that are not built to Android 12, and it really is only going to be on a case-by-case -case basis, but it's just something that you should be aware of. Most apps will work fine, but again, some apps just aren't built for it. So if you blindly go into the settings and disable the precise location toggle for all of your apps, and then you notice that some apps just don't work like they used to, 
then it could be a result of this location data stuff. So that's how location access works in Android 12. If you have any additional questions, please be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer as many people as I can. I have a lot of plans for this introduction to Android 12 video series. So if you are confused about something within Android 12, or you just want to know a little more about this operating system, again, use the comments section below to share your thoughts.